Oh, hello, YouTubers. So uh, let's continue with the series and talk about how to add a setup project to your Windows service uh, solution so then you can go through a um, automatic installation process. You don't have to do it manually. So the first thing you want to do is to add the setup project. And for that, go to Solution, right click, and then Add New Project. And then in here, most likely you will be under Visual Studio. And the way to get to the setup projects to go to other project types and go to um, Visual Studio Installer and in there you have the setup project. Um, I'm going to call this the uh, Windows Service Setup and click OK. And the first thing that we want, if you don't have this tab open, if you don't have the file system tab open, um, what you want to do is to uh, select the Windows Service Project, and then right over here on the top. So if you if you don't have it selected, select the Windows Service Project, and right here on the, the top you have a, a a series of icons. The first one is the File System Editor. Go ahead and click that, so then you can have that tab open. Under Application Folders, right-click Application Folders and add new project output. And in here, you'll be able to see under this uh, project uh, dropdown you have a list of all the projects. In this case, we're only looking for the Windows Service 1. Select Primary Output and click OK. Okay. So now we have our primary output under the uh, Windows uh, Service Setup. And uh, at this point, um, you're, pretty much, you're pretty much ready. It's going to um, in create the files in the local directory. But the problem is that we actually want to start uh, after. So one thing that we want to do, uh, we actually want to install into the machine. So this is going to actually put in the directory and now we have to install it. And for that we go in the, in the uh, custom actions editor. So I'm going to click in here and under install I'm going to right click add custom action, double click the application folder and then choose the primary output. So you have to take the first step first, the uh, uh, file system first before you come to the custom action. I'm going to do the same thing for the uninstall so when the application uninstalls, it also it's also going to uninstall the service out of the uh, computer. Now it's ready. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Close both of these. Under setup, you have several options. You can add the default company name. You can change the uh, uh, the name of your product in here. Uh, there are several things that you can do. And actually, this is going to be used in the path. I'm just going to leave everything as default. Let's double check our program. Okay, you definitely want to make sure that this is not under debug, especially well, especially because we're using the debug um, uh, uh, directive. So change it to release, and now you can see that this is the snippet of code that's going to be uh, used. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if you work under debug. I haven't tested, but anyways, change it to release so that uh, you're in the safe place. And now let's see, do we have anything else? Service Project Installer. Um, I have it under the local system account and Service Installer. Uh, the start type. The start type. Change it from manual to automatic. And what this is going to do is that when you install it under automatic, whenever the user restarts the computer um, during the boot up time, your service is going to start automatically. Okay. So now we have it all done. Save it. Uh, right click and build. And this takes a little longer than this, this small Windows Service app, but uh, not that much longer. Uh, so build succeeded. Let's look at the uh, Windows Explorer in here. So open folder in Windows Explorer. And we're under release, and I'm going to uh, click Setup. Now, this is the uh, dialog window that comes up. And uh, that, well, this looks a little funny. Welcome to Windows Service Setup. Setup. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely want to change this name, and that's the name that is under here, right? We called it the Windows Service Setup, but uh, anyways, uh, we're just testing. Click Next, and this is the location where it's going to add. So default company name. If you change the default company name to something else, then it would be reflected in here. And then if you change the Windows Service Setup to be something else, then it would be ref reflected in here as well. I'm going to copy this path because I want to open this up later. Click next, next, and then the window account, the user account control comes up. I'm going to click yes to that, and installation is completed. Now, let me go ahead and navigate to that location. 
and as you can see I have the Windows service in here and now when I go to the task manager and services in here I'm gonna open my services if we navigate all the way to the bottom you can see that the YouTube Windows service test is now installed and but it hasn't started it's not running and that's because automatic does not necessarily mean running it just means that when the computer starts that's when it's going to start automatically but I'm going to right click and click start here just to make sure that it starts just fine and you can see it's running we when we go back to our folder you can see that we have the on start file that we uh, that it's supposed to create when it starts so that's great great news and then uh, going back to it let me go ahead and just make sure that it fits in here going back to it, I'm going to stop the service right click and stop the service and then you can see that it creates the on stop file in there just to prove that the service is started and stop just fine now if you want to start the service immediately after the install then there's one more step that we have to take in and then I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, I'm going to right click the uh, Windows service setup in here I'm going to I'm going to uninstall okay so I just uninstall the uh, service and in the service installer when you go to events in here you have a after install so I'm going to double click the after install and that's going to create a function for us in here and in here I'm going to say new service controller service controller and then it's going to be let's see I have this snippet of code here it's going to be the service installer dot service name dot start that should take care of that for us so let's make sure save go ahead and then uh, rebuild the solution is this rebuilt make sure that it's rebuilt so let's build that and let me open actually so I uninstall it I just want to make sure that those files are not in there okay so as, a, as you can see this location now has no files I'm just gonna put it to the side here really quick and now I'm going to uh, install you can install it from here well let's let's do the same thing I did earlier right so um, it's building right now and now let's open folder location release setup now going through the same setup we went earlier this is the location where it's going to install and click close now when you open you can see that it started automatically so uh, task manager services open services and if we go all the way to the bottom now you can see that we have our tube YouTube window service and it's running now so if that's what you want to do then that's the way to accomplish that um, I should have stopped it so let me just go ahead and do that really quick right click and stop and now it's been stopped because we have the on stop file in there um, I hope this was educational um, next we're going to uh, uh, I'm well actually I'm not sure what the next step is just follow the link on the uh, on the video thank you for watching bye